back in Portugal in the Nutty Sanders workshop. I'm making two lamp, what do you call that, shapes. And uh, standing lamps are Art Deco, Amsterdam School, as we call it. So they have to be in line with that. So I glue them together, I'm making little details, and I'm now cutting the glass. Now, of course, there are a few things when you uh, cutting glass that you have to take in account. First of all, your cutter cuts two and a half mil more than you are measuring. So you have to deduct two and a half millimeters. I see a lot of people cutting glass. I'll get another sheet. And making it very complicated. Um, all kinds of tapping on glass or whatever. But if you got a good cutter with oil in it, cutting oil, it's perfectly fine. You don't need to do all kinds of you know, that, that tapping on it or put it on like a ridge or to break it. That's not necessary. You just give it a good clean cut and then you can just break it down. No problem. Sometimes it's a bit hard to measure it out exactly when your <laughs> triangle is, has just enough room to put your measure in. Because I need three, uh, 33 and a half. That means I've got to cut it at 33, 2.5. And that's it. And it's just a quick straight line cutting and you break it up. me but it's only looking like that when it's in the jar. Uh, it's turpentine wax, the same as the one I always use, the yellow one and the orange one, but uh, it doesn't change the color of the wood so it's more like transparent wax. Uh, I did some tests and I decided to use uh, mid-brown old-fashioned turpentine wax from the antique stock I've got. Uh, there's enough for this but my old jars are getting empty and I've got to look at different kind of brands because these are from the 1980s or 70s so and I'm almost run out of them. So I'm gonna use this to do uh, the lamp and I'm gonna use this one to do the lamp post the stands because they're already you know they're from the 20s and they already got the color so they only need a little maintenance so I'm gonna use that. Waxing 
these things. Um, let's see in meanwhile how Miriam is doing with the design of the glass because she made a design and she is going to color the glass and use some lead strips and things like that. So uh, let's go over to her little workshop and see how she's doing. Then I've got the time to do this. <laughs> when you have to change the light bulb and well this is not going to stay in there's going to be a LED light in there but so this makes it easy to just slide it over and because of the little blocks it stays at the right spot so it's a bit chunky but I'm sure when the glass is in this fits our style so we just have to wait and see until Miriam's ready with her stained glass. So finally these 100 year old Art Deco stands get their shades on them. I think they look rather nice. Miriam made uh, nice designs for them and they really fit with the rest of our, let's call it Art Deco room, which is in the cellar and that's why it's always nice and cool in the summertime. It fits with all the other 
lamps we have in there with all the furniture and the other pieces and we are really happy with them. I would say do some woodworking. It's a nice way to spend your time. Use some reclaimed wood. You see that works. Do some recycling. It's an even better way to spend your time. And see you all in the next video. Até logo.